Hi, good morning. Um, I thanks God for day off. It's my day off today. So I have free time to do some of my things today. But while I'm going to, uh, actually, it's a, I have a chiropractor today. So it's relaxing the body. And while driving, going there, um, I want to take this opportunity to uh, share um, what the Lord is speaking to me as individual, as part of the body of Christ. Uh, Saturday um, night, I just, uh, you know, after work, and then I'm just doing a few things in the house as we just move in to the new place. So I was quite bit physically tired, but my mind is quite um, active and quite sharp. Praise God, just lots of things in the mind, um, things to do. So I have a good rest at night. And then uh, I had a dream. And that dream, um, I saw my um, my el one of my eldest brother, uh, and he spoke to me. He said, "Elsie, you have to wait and don't go. There's one man that will come and meet you. He will speak to you. He's quite elderly, in the middle age, something like that." He said, but just wait so um, I, was, mm, I did not say anything I just listened and I waited and while I was waited I'm quite busy on my dream um, building the house we're organizing the house building it uh, the house is quite finished already and in my, on my dream uh, I want to build a fence this is the one that highlighted me. Build a, a fence on the front of the property. And it's kind of protection because it's quite open. Because I saw on the front of the the property, it's that kind of muddy and um, there's no grass. It's just quite a little bit um, rough but muddy front of the garden or area and then amazing in that on that dream I saw also my uh, my brother my younger brother Dante he was there he's helping me to uh, uh, organize to build fence around the house especially on the front something very about specific about the front the garden so while that is uh, happening on my dream there's another two guy join this uh, guy that my eldest brother told me to wait and listen because he's going to speak to me and then um, he was accompanied with another two guys so they become three guys so the two guys was the uh, was just standing um, not saying anything but the one, one guy that uh, spoke to me he was sat sitting down and he just he spoke to me with um, things that uh, I, st I still try to remember something deep but I have to linger on it and understand in that kind of communication yet it kind of deep and I don't understand and but I feel like I can understand I don't know how to express and uh, explain that and then the only word that gave me understanding and clearly they asked me they asked my age how old I was so 
so I told him my age and when I told him my age then again okay um, it's, it's like okay settled on that that kind of age so I see what's this age talk about it it's a number it's not it's, it's just kind of deep parables and revelation that uh, I'm wondering what is this and then that is Saturday and in the early morning it was Sunday so when I just woke up ready to go to church while I was pondering on the dream I said what's this dream what is this dream Lord asking God what's this thinking and thinking and then I received a text from my friend uh, Leia she's one of a uh, good friend that she um, we go together in the church she's a beautiful wife of, with six children um, and then uh, she was sending me this news about what hap uh, uh, what happening in Israel because I don't watch news. Uh, twenty twelve, twenty twelve. The Lord picked up the desire in my heart to watch news. He doesn't like me to open TV, and I don't have desire to open TV. Nothing nothing really that uh, encouraged me uh, I feel like the Lord want my undivided attention and that's really what my heart desire that any spare time I want to spend in the word in him in listening in prayer uh, something like that that really uh, prioritize my life when I, the Lord put in my heart, in my mouth, Lord, take off anything that in between us. So TV, he take off. Or I'm not that person that watching TV, but he just doesn't like me to watch any thing on the TV, even on social media. So it's disturbing for me. So I believe through dreams, he speaks to me. And even when I was young, uh, I wasn't aware of. Christianity relationship with him though we have that uh, comprehension being uh, grown up in Catholic um, but the Holy Spirit was so evident over my life in my life already since I was I remember as a child and um, I feel like those time like now God is just like updating the time that he will speak to me through that guy, that relationship again by the Holy Spirit but I have to spend time in the world so why I say that because I don't watch news so God revealed to me in the next day I don't watch TV so he revealed to me what he wants to reveal he will make the way to reveal to you so my friend Leia texted me what happened in Israel and then I said, uh, okay, uh, we go pray because we traveled uh, over Israel with that church tour. We went there on 2019 before COVID. We enjoyed the journey. She loved Israel. She just loved uh, the Jewish people and everything about Israel, about the Bible, you know, the Lord Jesus. And we have this same passion as well on that. It's the Lord connected us in that anointing for Israel and then I said okay let's meet in the church and pray and then we meet we prayed and then I um, but I never see the news yet but I just uh, I just saw her text about what happening because I was making ready go to uh, ready to uh, go to church so I just looked that she texted and I saw the you know the images of bombing and war in Israel I said wow so when we have time 
on the church and then I said what's that happening there Leah I see I saw her um, I had a dream so I took to her just roughly idea that um, I'm building a house and the house I have to put things on it and there's a three guy that came and spoke to me and I see the land was just so mess it's like rough moisture just but I have to put a fence on it you see that is what happening in Israel there's a bombing there's a there are the, the road the soil was just more just rough and because of bombing and I come into a realization I said wow Lord that's the dream um, I saw the dream and then I start pondering I start under getting understanding that the Lord is calling us, is visiting His people. There's a three witnesses that visiting His people as a, His church, even as an individual. I, I sense that the Holy Spirit is really awakening His people, His church, to pray, to rise up, build a fence of protections over Israel over the nations where the prophecy the prophetic of the bible is unfolding and i start getting understanding and i'm still asking the lord for the holy spirit to reveal to me what he's speaking but that is how i understand that the prayer has to rise up and the true prayer we are building a fence of safety the fence the wall of protection the fire of protection over our lives over our loved ones over our family over the things that the Lord has blessed us he's, he's given us good stewardship through prayers there's a protection God will respond and I believe the true witnesses that the Bible said is now roaming around the world to waking up his people to be alert to be watched because we are in the awesome time of glory that is how I feel and I was just amazed because through that when we are praying on the church I attended I was just hunger for God you know attended to the church uh, I said oh God after one church I said oh, I'm still hungry you know I went to another fellowship the message are the same you know what is the church what Jesus is doing you know and then while we are praying for Israel actually so the pastors thanks God for pastors church that supporting Israel prayed for over Israel and then I saw I saw that humongous wings of the Lord covering Israel covering the nation of Israel and I saw the rocket hit the wings and the wings not being even uh, damaged or uh, uh, how you call this one not, not even being um, move and I saw the rocket just bounce back where it came from so I start declaring the ministering angels the warrior angels of, of heavenlies the heavenly warriors will come we have the Bible said that we have to speak and commission the ministering angels because they are our ministers they hearken the voice of the Lord they hearken the voice of the word of God that we speak so I start commissioning that taking that authority in Jesus name commissioning warrior angels to protect over Israel and all things that what the Lord want to pray over Israel, over our lives, over the church, over his people, over the love even to, those, to the enemy that God want to save them. 
pray for them that God will open their eyes and see Jesus, the love of God, the goodness of God, not the hatred. So what the Holy Spirit really releasing the power, love, and wisdom, how to pray and declare it. And then um, Sunday, of course, that Sunday also is our Bible study. And the Bible study, I said, um, we have a series that we um, we study uh, with our youth. We we have the Bible study online since uh, COVID hit, so everybody was locked down. So praise the Lord, God birth using social media to bring forth reaching out the people through social media. So the Bible study birth on that with the youth uh, so we have the Bible study and then the series that we study is about the Holy Spirit the person of God the Holy Spirit but Sunday I said God what we are going to I feel like just really uh, flow on what happening and then the Lord give us give me the Isaiah 60 you know that the people of God has to arise, arise and shine, for the Lord has come. Great darkness will cover the earth, even great darkness into the heart of man. So it was really what happening. God is speaking. We have to awaken. We have to rise up. We have to wake up. We have to equip. We have to allow, arm ourselves with prayer. What's full? What? Uh, in the spiritual realm what happening in reality see what's in the spiritual realm and we declare that also we battle through prayers intercession in the spiritual realm that what happening in natural we battle that because the Bible said you know our battles not against blood and flesh but against spirit in the spiritual realm in the heavenlies so uh, it was just also what God is unfolding. So we declare that we study that Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 5. It was awesome. The whole topic uh, we, we study almost 45 minutes to one hour. Just God is giving the uh, revelation. And, and I was just even uh, reading the Amplified in just verse 1. That the church is just like they have a spiritual depression they, do, they have they don't have fire they, they are so happy they, uh, they're, they're so um, cold in their faith so God said, arise arise from uh, spiritual depression for the glory of God has risen upon you so we cannot waste that glory the, gl the glory of God the, the radiance of God the majesty of God, the, the awesomeness of God upon His church, upon His people, and through His people, God's awesomeness will be seen. So that is how this dream and God giving me revelation uh, on it. That I would love to really share. That I hope will encourage you and be attentive because God is speaking. The three witnesses is is visiting you, visiting you in your even in your dream, even in your sleep. God will not be silent. God will not be silent on Psalm 83 saying that. For His name's sake, He will do things. He will brought the triumph of the cross into existence. So be ready, be alert with your watch and your watch night when you're sleeping, dreams, visions. Be aware even in your work, even when you are walking, working, whatever you do in your life. God is speaking. He's sending everything. He did everything already and He is doing it, everything to awaken His precious church, His precious bride, you, to be an arm with His power, be armed with His glory, armed and rise up as a warrior of the living God because the enemy is a defeated fool and He's a liar, but He is rampaging. He's like like a roaring lion, he, he is in his lies, his copycat, you know, his try to lies and bring fear. But the power is in you 
and through you as the church, as the people of God. Amen. And then I was just reading with my devotion. I'm reading Psalm 60 and Psalm 61. How awesome is that when we study the Isaiah 60? And then the Psalm, uh, Psalm 60. God is restoring favor, favor over His people. So we have to be awakened. It will not just come drop on you like the rain. We have to pay the price. We spend time, you know, uh, less on our own things. Now is the time that we spend time with the Word of God. We spend time with God in prayer. And God is equipping you to be a mighty man of war in the spirit world realm and also in the natural here because we are in natural being. Hallelujah. So, um, and then um, it's amazed me also the Isaiah um, 61, uh, sorry, the Psalm 61 that I'm reading. Remember, uh, I just mentioned that Isaiah 60, we, the Lord led me to topic that on our Bible study. Uh, that really, uh, the verse that it was on my dream to build a fence of prayer I have to arise and pray and then uh, on my study God confirmed it again um, Psalm 60 and then, then the Psalm 60 that God will restore favor He is the safety God is the one that will bring safety and security He, he is the one that the strong tower over his people and that is continue with some 61 that some 61 uh, just beautiful confirmation on my dream a uh, vision that I saw on Sunday during prayer that uh, God is hovering with his wings over and above Jerusalem Israel and that was on some 61 that he is that his wings is the safety and refuge under his wings so God is triumph doesn't matter what happening God is in control God need you to pray God is powerful when we pray and he's powerful of course he's powerful but he giving us he delegate his power over the church over you as his mouthpiece as his hands and feet hallelujah like now you know Needing also practical need, shelter to those who are homeless now in Israel. Homeless everywhere around the world. We have so much opportunity to show the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. So I will just pray. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we just want to worship you and honor you. You are sovereign above all. You are omnipresent. You are omniscient. You know everywhere. You know all things. God and we thank you for the honor and privilege God to be part in everything what you are doing here on earth God Almighty the church equip awaken your church God visit them in their night watch visit them in their sleep in, visit them in their wanderings those who are uh, complacent God put the fire of heaven upon them whatever they do in their lazy spiritual laziness and confusion and uh, no for, uh, loss of focus and loss of direction. God, awaken them in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Awaken your church, your powerful church with your might. For you said in your word, it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. The church, the body of Christ, amazing uh, bride of yours, Lord, that's uh, what with the prize, with your precious blood, that you said that you will come uh, and, and Meet your bride spotless, without blameless, without wrinkles. Lord, that is your bride. And let the bride live like that with triumph and victory, Father God. Thank you, Daddy God, that you are our Abba Daddy. That supply the needs of those who are afflicted. Especially those who are lost, the loved ones over Israel right now, God. Those are captive, set them free in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Lord, let your heavenly host. Lord, 
operate right now as I saw that on dreams, God. Lord, safety and protection to all the, the delegates, Lord, all the armies, all the um, and authority, Father God. All, Father God, the leadership, Father God, especially Netanyahu, God. Give him wisdom, give him safe and peace. Lord, he is the king that you ordained, Lord. Hallelujah. Equip him, Father God, with such wisdom knowledge and wisdom God hallelujah the way you operate with your kings uh, on the Bible Lord I thank you that he is the man of the history in this new era protect his family his children protect your people right now Lord shelter those who are lost their homes and God there's no fear to anyone there in Israel even especially those who are armies those who are in uh, uh, peace control Father God, I thank you for every nation, nations that support Israel. You said in your word, God, bless our those, hallelujah, who love Israel love and support Israel, not just in prayer, not, not just in word, but in action, God. Bless those nations, bless those country, bless those leaders, bless their family and homes, God. I thank you that you are rising up the nations, Lord, to support Israel and the nation that hated Israel, Lord, visit them, Lord, let their peace, Lord, this the hatred be ease in Jesus' name, and let Jesus' peace reign over all nations, Lord. Thank you that you are sovereign God, you are the one in the full authority. So, thank you, God, that you are rising the church, you are waking us up, you're visiting us in dreams and vision. Give us clarity, Lord. Uh, what you are saying that we can hear you clearly that we can see everything what you see can be part of it God like what Jesus said that the church does and, and as individual we will do only what we see the Father is doing and we will speak what we hear what the Holy Spirit what the Father is speaking let it be Lord through the blood of Jesus God thank you for the nation of uh, Australia as well God this coming election God let there be unity in the nation of Australia, no division, no division, no division for unity. You see, in your word, unity, you command a blessing. When there's unity, the nation prosper, the nation rejoicing. So, God, we speak unity, no division, no division in Jesus Christ's mighty name, Lord. The righteous government we declare in this nation, the great Southland of the Holy Spirit. This is your nation too, Lord. Thank you, God, for the mighty nations that you are building, Father God, with your power and your might, for the glory of your name. You sit in your word, God, for the sake of your name, for your name's sake, you will prevail. You will help us, Lord. Thank you, Daddy God. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you so much, Lord. Thank you, God, for loving us first. And we can love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Even in prayers, in Jesus' name. I hope you are encouraged. And I hope you are awakened in Jesus' name. Love you. Amen.